don't watch that, watch this! Well, what do you mean by this? Oh, well, this is my channel. Welcome to it. And if you guys do really enjoy it, you can go in, you can click the share button. That really, really helps the algorithm go to Twitter, Facebook, Blogger. I don't even know what the crap that is. Reddit, all the stuff. So if you do love that, we also have a join button. You go in, you click a little join button. Four ninety nine a month, you get all the cool, awesome emojis. Now, enjoy the video. We have another one of these whiny outrage mobs going after a celebrity. Again! Yay! Hello everyone! I am MechaRandom42, still the one, still the only, still your favorite YouTube consumer advocate, Harpy, in the jiggle top today because of course I am. We're talking about things and issues and, well, mostly science. I like science. Oh, I shouldn't have said that word anytime I say science. I like science. Spock, not Spock. New Spock pops his head in. You know, you know Spock. Spock, so much Spock that he needs a helmet on his head to tell you that he is Spock, doesn't he? Yeah, Spock. I'm, I'm Spock. I'm a scientist. I like science. <sighs> you can tell I really care about Harry Potter. <laughs> We're talking about J.K. Rowling today. And yeah, like I said, I'm not a Harry Potter person, really. But I'm also... Not a fan of these alt-left wackadoo mobs anymore. I'm, I'm just tired of them. I'm tired of this stuff. If you're still a fan of J.K. Rowling and her work, man, I ask if you are a trans ally to find better things to read that aren't created by a woman who's actually trying to tear apart my community and turn us into serial killers. I don't give a fuck if you love Harry Potter or not. Wah, wah, wah. J.K. Rowling's latest book, and that's what they're talking about. They're mad. It's about... Uh, no, uh, all right, all right. Which kind... Which, what, what are we being mad about now? Are we being mad about transvestites or transgender people? Because those are two entirely different things. Those are different things. You can be transgender and never want to wear the clothing of the other gender that you do not identify as. You can be a heterosexual, cisgendered male who loves to wear women's clothing, you know, like somebody like Ed Wood, for example, who went around in World War II and wore women's undergarments because he liked it and he enjoyed it and he felt comfortable that way and there's nothing wrong with that. So which thing are you upset by? Because right here I'm seeing this more as a ripoff of a certain other Otherwise, heterosexual man who liked to wear women's clothing, specifically his mother's. Oh, yes, mother. Mother. We're talking about mother. And I had to pull this out for, for special reference. Now, I've had this bad boy for a good 25 years, give or take. Now, Norman Bates here. Spoiler. Spoiler from a movie from 1960. Spoiler. This, this gentleman right here, that's, that's Anthony Perkins. He played Norman Bates. Now, Norman Bates had a hotel and a really creepy old house and one of the things that happened was that he would spoiler for a 60 year old movie dress as his mother when he actually did these things as sort of an alternate personality right so so we can't even we can't even argue that 100 percent it is and now i haven't read her book or know what's going to what's going to be about but in the movie here, we could even argue that that was a completely separate personality and he wasn't even dressing as a woman. He was, he became his mother. He became Norma Bates. So, as somebody who's a reasonably pretty big fan of the movies, of the Psycho franchise and, and movies, I've seen most of the TV shows, well, not all of it, but... We, we already got one. We already got one. So I'm more upset that we've already got one. Not only that, we also had Buffalo Bill from Silence of the Lambs. But, you know, instead of wearing the clothes, he would he was a little closer to... Oh, oh, that's the other thing. This was based on a real-life guy who was not a good guy. His name was Ed Gein. Now, Ed Gein actually was also obsessed with his mother and made furniture out of people. You know, he made, like, lampshades out of parts of people and stuff like that. Not a good guy. Mo they they kind of they kind of used him as well to for Buffalo Bill from the Sons of the Lambs. You know the guy, the bad guy in that one. So are you are you more mad that she's basically doing a rip off of something, or do you just want some outrage and some hate clicks just to prove 
that some people are just a bunch of wackadoos. That's what it feels like to me. Because keep in mind, I don't care what J.K. Rowling's new book is about. I don't believe, I've read through her tweets. I've read through her threads. I believe that she's more of the belief of the scientific fact of the DNA and the geneticism and the effect on the mental health of some of these people. So she really comes off more as an ally to me based on what I've seen. I like science. Spock, you're late and you're not welcome here. Quit button your head. I mean, I guess it's better than a certain other person button their head in and Brie bombing us. Please like the video if you liked it. If you didn't like it, keep your comments to yourself. Like I said, she Brie bombs us all the time. Whew, like that. I just want to, just want to squeeze and pop that right there. But you know what? Get away. Jonathan Aldridge. Five pound super chat. Thank you so much. Are cis men not what used to be called drag queens? So, uh, cis, cisgender just means that you were the gender that you are. You identify as the gender that you were born as. Now, drag queens are, can be completely different things. Drag queens can be gay guys who like to dress up as women. Trans, uh, like drag queens can be people who are transgender. Drag queens can fall into a lot of categories. Drag queens can be 100% straight guys who just like to put on costumes, too. So 100% heterosexual cisgendered people. You cannot just keep labeling people as phobic when when you're just upset and throwing the temper tantrum because what you need attention again i'm so tired of this crap i don't even want to get into a lot of this because this just seems to me like they don't even know what the crap they're they're arguing anymore they don't even understand which thing are you are you are you upset about the ripping it you're you're tearing apart you're turning you're turning one and so so you're saying that all trans people are the same is that what you're saying because i don't think so like i keep saying there are a lot of different reasons for people to do this there's a lot of different shades on the scale so if you're saying that having one character who dresses in women's clothing and is a bad guy in a book that that one character represents your entire community really really what, what, about, what about people like divine who i grew up watching in the 80s yeah, like way too young to be watching. Like I, my the movies I grew up with were all John Waters movies and things like that. Like like the original Hairspray with Divine, which was a guy in a dress. These things, like if you're confident in yourself, you don't need to have this hatred for everybody else who disagrees with you, who might misspeak or misstep. Or piss off the angry hate mob because I'm getting tired of the hate mob. I'm getting tired of the hate mob. They need to do, just take take a chill pill or something. Go to Colorado. We have some things that you you know might be sort of somewhat legal out here that might help you calm down and relax and enjoy your. You know what? You're trans. I'm happy you're able to do that and you're not oppressed anymore. We, you got what you wanted. What, what, what's up? What's now? What else is next? Because here's how angry hate mobs work. What's acceptable one day? Like, like let's take for example some of these characters where people who white white actors play characters who happen to be black, and they go in full makeup of these characters. Like when Jimmy Fallon impersonated Chris Rock, for example. What happens? A few years later when people are like, oh, that's blackface. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, what happens when in a few years the same crazy people keep moving crazier and crazier and crazier over farther and farther away from reality and come after you? Because now all of a sudden in their crazy minds, you might have been appropriating a gender that you were not born with. Gender appropriation might actually be a thing that people are upset by in five years. So maybe be a little bit more lenient, a little bit more appreciative, a little bit more chill and relax and zen. What are they? Why are they? What do they mean? Just chill. Just chill, people. I am MechaRandom42, and I'm going back to my live chat. Don't you guys go anywhere. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye. Uh, you want to see my crank?